Inside. Here's the manual, the project board, wires, crystal earpiece, there's some probes, maybe it's got an electric shocker. We've got a meter movement, tuning control, volume control and a speaker. The parts are mounted on pull-out blocks. It's a transistor, Capacitor, resistor, diode, even an audio transformer, and a little Morse key. Got some blocks that contain nothing but a jumper lead. The blocks have conductors on the sides. These make contact with adjacent blocks. First project, electronic buzzer. Just using the crystal earpiece. How good is a crystal earpiece as a microphone? Well, I've just connected my newly disinfected specimen to the inbuilt amplifier. And you're hearing the result. Not too bad, at least for voice audio. Diode detector and IC radio. Basically an amplified crystal set. Very frankly getting one station with a few metres of wire antenna. Now I've got my HF antenna. light control circuit. All it is is a light bulb, a transistor and a potentiometer. As the base voltage increases the light comes on. Adjusting the potentiometer and you can see that I can vary the brightness of the light. Another radio, this time with an RF amplifier. Moment of truth. I always thought was well, no about antenna about and speaker reception. So your mom can't speak. And so it's not, there's not a... Project 70, electronic bird. Another radio, this time a reflex set where the same transistor is used for RF and AF amplification. I think it's a little bit louder than the previous one. thing about these kits is you can pull them apart and build again. There's many different projects to build and you can even invent your own, those not in the book. Or you can modify the ones that are described, substitute extra components and maybe even get better performance or different functions.
the electronic siren. Let's move a few parts around. Now I don't know if this is in the book, but I've connected in the light dependent resistor. Let's have a listen. Back to the hands, not very much. Fingernails, nothing at all. The palm of the hand and your fingers. lick one of the fingers quite a lot and the others a little bit less.